And while many shelter in place for today's storm, FEMA is granting hundreds of people displaced by Hurricane Ida one last extension for temporary housing. Well, short term accommodations from FEMA were set to end today, but that deadline has been extended by 48 hours. Our NBC Local 33's investigative reporter Ariel Salk spoke with a woman who says uh, she will uh, have nowhere to go. I'm not exactly for sure where or what I'm going to do. Hurricane Ida ruined hundreds of thousands of homes in Louisiana, forcing many people like Karen Cooper to live out of a hotel. It was destroyed, totally destroyed. Then I was didn't know what else to do. Transitional Sheltering Assistance, or TSA, is a program ran by FEMA that pays for hotel rooms for those who lost their homes from a storm. But it's a temporary program when other housing options are not available. And for many, it's about to end. The goal of temporary housing is always to get people into long more uh, long-term housing. Temporary housing, very unusual for an event has gone on for seven months. Cooper says she was given at least a two-week notice that she would need to leave the Hyatt. But over the months, the deadline kept getting extended and extended. So when the deadline stayed firm, it caught her off guard. And now they're saying that it's completely at this end. And then they said that I was approved for, you know, the rental assistance, the extended rental assistance, but I haven't seen anything of that. Cooper says the manager at the hotel says she can stay one more night to wait out the storm, but soon she might have to move into her car. Scary, <laughs> very scary. You sleep with one eye open. And Karen isn't alone. Howard says roughly 900 other people using TSA will be in the same position. After speaking with FEMA, they have informed us that they will be extending everyone's stay for an additional 48 hours. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News.